You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy brutal sim on the scene wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is by now take some time i'll bless up your boy like up the video definitely help the channel out because you know your boy gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community and we gotta start the video off the right way y'all know what it is we gotta give a shout out to the nodi gang brute squad everyone that come through with the nodi bell unlock and type in Bruce squad at first i do appreciate y'all man y'all know what it is y'all gotta end up on the wall of fame man i gotta show y'all love man y'all know what it is now let's get to the information i got some good news and i got some bad news we're gonna start off with the bad news first it seemed like someone actually found the script or perfect green script that they similar to what they use with sans in nba 2k 22 and the previous ones now the good news is seem like there are some cost constraints and it's a different device so it's not the sense the sense you know most people in the community got sense already and we're going to talk about that a little bit later now this was actually sent to me of course on discord it seemed like they got a whole discord cheating group going of course and someone finally cracked the code now we're going to go through to the last set of messages right here and we're going to talk about this or we're going to um go over this real quick it says cv will never be as big as zens were in 20 or 21 mostly because of the cost constraints zens were lightweight and cheap compared to what you need for cv but i don't mind this has been a fun little two month project that i plan on expanding on and also cv isn't and shouldn't be advertised like zenin was now zarif actually responds saying yes let's keep this secret as much as possible otherwise the whole community will know and so much the better if it's expensive at least not everyone could use it now dab actually responded said it's already out it's about if they're willing to spend the money for it and um dilemma actually said not nearly as widespread as tens were um dab actually responded then on top of that most cv scripts are paid for now y'all see what's going on right here man right y'all see in a nutshell so the script is out there already not widespread and you have to pay for it and it's not on the zen now do is this a big thing to be honest with y'all i really don't care that much <laughs> to be honest with y'all right now there's a few reasons why i don't care that much number one yeah you could probably hit greens every time even though you have the script but contest gonna always be contest to be quite honest with y'all the zen and it always very based on your ping and whatever you see earlier this person was talking about their ping and it's more difficult to hit when it comes to when when it comes to these stability issues with the service or whatever the next thing is 2k already got a built-in zen i don't know if y'all knew it but this has been um happening a lot lately we've been run, running in with a lot of people that's using real player percentage i don't even know who idea it was who in 2k decide to take away all the skill when it comes to shooting and put real player percentage i had my guy gambit run a few games with his point guard and i'm telling you all the honest truth he got a 90 on his three and once he's open it's a guaranteed bucket contest shots mm, fades mm, right but in terms of quick stop stand shots standing shots once it's open it's a guaranteed bucket but it's gonna take away the rest of your game like you can't fade as much and all those other stuff but yes there's already a built-in zen and 2k need to do something about that 
in future 2 kids i think it's already starting to get widespread either way so do i care about this script do i care about cheating yeah not really to be quite honest with y'all let me know what y'all think and yes i do know the name of the device you need to use but i'm not putting it out there and i do, and I do know the person that developed it and, not, and i'm not putting it out there either because i know how y'all are we already made a mistake with me and jay easy um we actually Post. we were the first two people to kind of expose the people that was using zens in nba 2k21 and we thought the community would get them out of here and instead guess what they did oh the, what they were using again oh that device is a zen hmm. and the stock for zen instantly went up because a zen before that cost like around 70 some bucks after we drop our videos and the amount of traffic they receive it bump up bump it up to like a hundred and some dollars because they sold out really fast because the 2k community was that overwhelming so we're not gonna i'm not gonna be advertising all that stuff anymore man so anyways let's move on now call the man actually made this tweet let me know if you all agree or not he said nba live has beaten had 2k beaten in every aspect except the most important one gameplay um better clothes parks etc you have to play to upgrade your player i love it gameplay just isn't it and i do agree with this somewhat all right now the thing is ea have shown that ea is all in for the money grab as well so i could always link them not really putting all that monetization stuff in nba live because they noticed the community wasn't fully behind it yet you gotta be of a certain stature before you implement being money hungry to be quite honest you gotta be that dumb and said nba live kind of lost their foothold i say around 2000 seven eight around there they kind of lost their foothold on the community on the basketball community and they've been trying to claw their way back ever since so i can't give them credit necessarily for not really putting too much monetization stuff in the game based on that but at the same time 2k need to dumb down on some of these stuff man it cost them near 70 bucks to create a player in nba 2k 22 which is definitely terrible that's like i can't buy or give or give someone or a little kid nba 2k 22 because it's going to cost them the same amount that i bought the game for for them to create one player to actually try to be competitive out the gate bro and to actually take their player to like a 90 overall because they allow you to take it to a 90 overall now it's gonna cost you like 70 bucks where every single year it seems like they keep increasing on that little aspect there and they gotta watch what they're doing because it's getting overboard right now man i ain't gonna front 2k y'all starting to look a little extra greedy now y'all been looking greedy previously but now it's a little worse man and i gotta do a video about this thing real soon it's gonna be an entire video i could do about that and it's not just creating a build trust me we're gonna talk about it now we gotta talk about this as well the next player bite the dust at least at least disqualified for a year this was actually posted two days ago but we had a lot of news man so i'm gonna let, i'm gonna still keep y'all up to date but it might be a little delayed y'all know how it is now cav legion gc point guard albano fab tamalari has been disqualified from the NBA 2K League and its teams for violating the player's code of conduct and the league's health and safety protocols. It was announced today by NBA 2K League's president, Brandon Donahue. Um, Tom Larry was previously suspended twice for violating league rules. And today's disqualification reflects the league's policy of progressive discipline for or repeated violations now i assume this is a really good point guard he already had chances upon chances usually the 2k league i ain't sure if they give this much chances man now of course you know they're gonna give the team that he was disqualified from um they usually give them a compensatory pick or whatever um they said a third round pick they're gonna give them in the upcoming draft man so let me know what y'all think about this man but that's really interesting and we're gonna finish right here um statistics actually made this post right here he said is it bad that i enjoy playing nba 2k22 and if you go 
and check the response to this tweet a lot of people is agreeing with him i know the narrative now is that the game is trash the game is trash but there still are a lot of people really enjoying this game and one thing might be um the reason why a lot of people not because a lot of people probably just play park and not trying out different game modes i usually go and watch statistics stream he streams some my team sometimes he switch it up he switch it up man so i could see why he could find fun in the game because he don't just stick to one thing if one thing ain't working you go to something else and the game is a fun game not perfect don't get me wrong not perfect got a lot of things to iron out but still it's not a bad game but anyways man so let me know what you all think about the video and if you all got some more time man i did a video talking about the split in the, the community the discussion if the game is dead or the game is good it's a good conversation to be held a lot of people is loving that video check it out in the top right just click there for your boy you know what it is man your boy gonna always keep you all up to date be safe out there peace